the narcissist will warn everyone about you. When you see through them and see them for what they really are, you can no longer satisfy their false self and false existence. You can no longer give them the supply of attention and admiration they cannot live without. People who really know the narcissist hate to be around them because they are so toxic and negative. Fly monkeys and enablers don't know the narcissist personally. They just know their version of events and have been conditioned to believe it. They create a smear campaign to taint your image and prevent you from exposing them. If they taint your image first, no one will trust what you say because they already have this negative image of you. But what kind of person would believe what they say without even hearing your side of the story? Only a fly monkey, enabler or a toxic person. They are no different to the narcissist. Once the narcissist mask has slipped and you have seen through the narcissist, they will warn everyone about you. They have to do this. They have to discredit you before you discredit them. Usually their accusations will be based on something you have done. Of course, when you are dealing with a narcissist abuse and manipulation for long periods of time, it's only natural that you are going to act out. They intentionally provoked hate and anger within you. So usually their accusations will be based on something you have done, but it will be blown up and exaggerated. They will paint a picture of you as though you are this crazy, dangerous person. You are a risk to the public, so everyone must be made aware of you. Is this how the narcissist really feels? Not at first. Before they begin warning everyone about you, they usually know that they are the cause of the issue. They know that you are a, a good person who simply got fed up of their abuse and manipulation. But the more people they talk about you too, the more they start to believe it themselves. Then they really start to see you as this crazy, dangerous person. And that makes it easier for them to play the innocent victim role, which is another way for them to obtain supply by creating a pity party. When the narcissist warns everyone about you, they are basically enforcing fly monkeys and creating a smear campaign. Please watch my video on the fly monkeys and the smear campaign for more information on this. The fly monkeys are narcissists too, but little do they know that they are simply puppets or pawns in the narcissist game of chess. They are just being used for the narcissist agenda of turning everyone against you, making everyone see you the same way. Many victims of the smear campaign become isolated and depressed. They feel as though they are missing out on something great by not being included, included in the group or activities of the fly monkeys. The truth is, this is all in your head. And as long as you are willing to believe it, the fly monkeys will happily feed this belief to you and make it appear as though you are missing out on something. But it's all in your head. It's an illusion. You are not missing out on anything other than endless abuse and manip manipulation. 
because that's all they have to offer. You think that the flying monkeys are these amazing, interesting people? If that was true, they wouldn't have to do any of this. They wouldn't have time to be involved in a smear campaign against you. They wouldn't have time to warn everyone about you. So the fact that they are doing this should remind you that they have nothing better to do. They have no life. Ask yourself, what kind of person would do this? And what kind of person would believe it without even knowing the person they are talking about? One thing I've noticed is that what the narcissist and their fly monkeys say, do and believe says a lot about themselves than it does about you. They will have a narrative for your family too, so that your family sees you a certain way. Whether it's your partner's family or your family, yes, the narcissistic family is in cahoots. They all think the same way as the narcissist and they all see you the same way as the narcissist. Family members will become fly monkeys or enablers. The narcissist plays the victim role. They adopt the narcissist's beliefs, the narcissist's distorted way of thinking. They see you the same way as the narcissist sees you. They know everything that is going on and everything you have been through, but they will never speak a word about it. They will play a role and act as though they care about you. But really, they are sitting back watching all of the calamities in your life and deeply enjoying it. They are sadistic individuals. They take pleasure in seeing you suffer and struggle in life. So of course they are going to set up scenarios and situations to watch you suffer and struggle. They are well aware that the narcissist is trying to ruin your life. They know that the narcissist has damaged your career, friendships, relationships, finances, and any other interests you may have. That's exactly what they want. And they are enabling the narcissist to do all of this. However the narcissist sees you is exactly how the family sees you or will see you once they have been groomed or conditioned by the narcissist. They work as a team to abuse and manipulate you, to sabotage and destroy your life. Anything you tell the family members will go back to the narcissist and then be used as ammunition against you. They are not concerned they don't want things to work out for you. They don't want a resolution. They want the narcissist to destroy you and they want nothing good for you in your life. The narcissist treats everyone close to them really bad, especially their family. But the narcissist conditioning process and manipulation is so strong that they still become fly monkeys or enablers. The narcissist plays the victim role and points the finger at you as the perpetrator. The narcissist also uses their tools of gaslighting and future faking to win over the fly monkeys. It gives them an, an incentive to play the role and keep the code of silence regarding the abuse. The narcissist will twist, twist everything you say and then play the victim role. Despite the years of abuse and manipulation you, have, you may have endured, suddenly you are the abuser for trying to defend and protect yourself. Narcissists are known for talking about you behind your back. They paint a negative picture of you and then play the victim. 
They take pleasure in talking down about their partners and even their own children. They want a pity party, even though they are the abusers. Fly monkeys or enablers who are under the spell of the narcissist will think that you are so lucky to have them because they have been programmed by the narcissist and adopted the, the distorted beliefs and way of thinking. They need their beliefs to be reinforced constantly by their team of fly monkeys and enablers. They probably didn't believe much of this about you at first, but over time they became conditioned to believe it by continually reinforcing each other's beliefs. Repetition fuels belief. They are soon believing each other's lies and become very gullible and easily influenced. They are weak-minded, not willing to stand up for anything on their own. Since they are weak, they have to join groups of like-minded people who deep down don't even like them anyway. They will act as though they are all good friends and they like each other. But that's only to make you believe that there's something wrong with you. Before they enforced the fly monkeys and the smear campaign, you would see them argue and fight all the time. Probably every day. But now, you will almost never see them argue or fight because they are trying to portray the illusion that everyone else is fine and you have a problem. They want you to think that there is something wrong with you. But if they really believed that, they wouldn't need to create the illusion. They would just let it play out on its own. So please, don't ever think that you are missing out on anything. Fly monkeys are narcissists. They are very toxic, negative people. They are miserable. They are very insecure and have an inferiority complex. Full of hate, anger and envy. They are self-hating people. They will try to make you insecure and self-hating because they are envious of the positive mindset and qualities which you possess. They will try to project their insecurities and hate onto you. But remember, those are their insecurities, not yours. You do not need the majority you need people who believe what you believe. Just take a look at the public opinion today and then realize why we are best not being a part of it. We live in a world where the mass population are sheep who will believe whatever they are told to believe. This is why narcissism is an epidemic now and fly monkeys and enablers are created so easily. The court of public opinion will always turn against the accused unless the accused is an enemy or abuser of one who was originally accused, which means that they are contradicting their own beliefs and morals, a typical thing that narcissists will do. If they were genuine people, they would talk to you face to face instead of behind your back. Remember that everything they say or do is simply a reaction to everything that you say or do. I have left many narcs in the past where they belong. I blocked one just a few months ago. They always find a way to come back, thinking somehow that they are actually deserving of your time and attention. You will find that some of these narcissists were once relatively normal, but due to the excessive mind control 
and conditioning they received from narcissistic influences. They then became very narcissistic. I've noticed that the fly monkeys and enablers are all trained by other narcissists. You cannot talk logically to them because these external influences seem to override any rational thinking in their minds. The best thing you can do is pretend these people never existed and in many cases they never did exist because what they showed you in the beginning was a false personality anyway. Narcissists are extremely desperate for attention, validation and admiration, power and control. This is their purpose in life, to impress people like you and I, to obtain narciss narcissistic supply. The narcissist's purpose once they've entered the relationship is to maintain the illusion over anything else. They don't put any work into the relationship or looking after their partner. It's all about maintaining their false image and the illusion. They would rather make you believe that there's something great than to be something great for real. They use their car, clothes, women, whatever to give you the illusion that they're this, this amazing person. But really, those are just tools. Tools they use to create an illusion. Tools which they use to validate their false character and image. The truth is they are completely fake, empty people. Their goal is to create an illusion, to make you believe in their false reality. They know there's only a matter of time until you figure them out. And after that, they are out of there. Now they are going to find someone else who will believe in their false self and the illusion until they figure them out too. There's no such thing as a relationship with a narcissist because they can never be real. They are fake. From their image to their personalities, total fraudsters trying to sell you a product that doesn't even work. As the narcissist influences others to become fly monkeys and enablers that adopt their beliefs, it becomes like a zombie infestation, like it's contagious. But these people have to be, have to be emotionally unhealthy to begin with. No one in the right mind would do that otherwise. No one with high self-esteem, self-worth or self-respect would ever engage in these destructive activities. It's not paranoia and it's not a conspiracy theory. This is really happening. Narcissists and force fly monkeys and enablers to assist them in abusing you. The enablers enable the abuse to take place. They talk down about you and spread rumours, which then creates a smear campaign. Their obsession leaves them with no other purpose for them in their life. The fact that you want nothing to do with them triggers this obsessive nature within them. We were probably dealing with narcs who were once overindulged as children and given excessive attention, so they expect us to do the same, despite all of the abuse and manipulation we had to endure. When we stay true to ourselves and don't get involved with them, they can't help but get obsessed with us. It also leads them to enforce more fly monkeys and enablers, smear campaigns. Another level of obsession! They will then do whatever they can to sabotage and destroy every aspect of your life. 
what these narcs don't realize is these smear campaigns might as well be called smear programs because that's exactly what they do they are programming their own minds programming them into intense hate anger and envy they are changing the neuroplasticity of their brains into becoming more predatory more hateful angry and envious more bitter and resentful it doesn't just stop when they are not around you these toxic behaviors and beliefs stay with them even when they are with their own families or other relationships whether they know it or not I guess this is a part of their karma you don't need to convince the narcissist or anyone else of who you are most of them know you're a good person anyway they just wish you weren't so now they are trying to push and provoke you into becoming the dangerous crazy person they initially believed you to be the narcissists who do do portray you to be a bad person are just projecting they see you as an extension of them an extension of their negative traits the narcissist doesn't really care about who you are or how good you are as a person you could be the greatest person in the world but if someone can't see it what difference does it make they have this mentality of as a man thinketh so is he they want to see you as a bad person so they will see you as one they are full of hate anger and envy they have so many insecurities an inferiority complex and a reptilian brain so anything good positive or productive you do will trigger their inferiority complex their hate is triggered by their, their own insecurities and their inferiority complex your positive qualities or progression triggers them to attack take away their insecurities and inferiority complex and they would have no purpose desire or motive to attack you but since they cannot self-reflect or look within they will always have these insecurities they will always have an inferiority complex the majority of them are stuck this way they try to label you as this dangerous crazy person when really that's exactly what they are and they are projecting these traits onto you it seems that they are warning everyone about you when really they should be warning everyone about themselves.